hard to know who's here and who's not here. So when you have an assigned seat, it's much easier to get a sense of you know who who's present and who's not. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Um, but before we get into some of my updates and announcements, um, I just wanted to sort of center everyone on the new year. Okay, and just just put some stuff into perspective. Okay. So, you know, we're into the new year. We're about a week into the new year. And like I said last time we saw each other on Wednesday, um, I mentioned new year resolutions, right? And kind of setting up um, yourself for the new, this new chapter, okay? And some of you, you seniors, right? You have one more semester of high school, and then you sort of nosedive into your next steps, right? So a new year... Um, really starts, you know, a new chapter, but it also kind of, when you're a senior, it starts the process of your final semester of high school going into college. So I wanted to kind of think about, okay, what could I share with you? Because usually at this time of the year, everyone's talking about resolutions and goals, and those are kind of big things, right? Set a goal for yourself for the year, set resolutions, you know, make change. Um, and so, you know, you've heard that before, but I wanted to kind of also bring to light that, that being present in the process of change is really important. So sometimes we focus on the goal, right? I have a goal. I'm going to be a doctor, okay? Or I'm going to um, lose weight, or I'm going to, that's my goal, right? And that becomes, we get blinders on that that's what we have to do, okay? And we ignore the process to get there, okay? So while goals are really important, and it's important to set yourself up and, and help yourself grow and evolve, it's also important to be present in your process, okay? What does that, that mean? It means being aware of how you're changing and celebrate yourself as you're changing. Okay, some of you, you know, your goals might be academic. I'm going to be a straight A student. Well, okay, that's good, right? That's an awesome goal. But sometimes it takes work, right? And maybe it's not something you're used to doing, okay? So celebrating, giving yourself milestones, being part of the process. Okay, I want to get straight A's. How do I get straight A's? Well, I definitely need to communicate with teachers more, but I don't like to, right? I get nervous. I don't know how to communicate with teachers. They're intimidating, okay? How do I get to where I need to go? Well, I make small steps. You know, maybe I raise my hand. I'm confused, okay? Sometimes just even saying, I don't understand, is a milestone, right? Because we don't like to admit we don't understand something, right? So being able to say to a teacher, I'm not understanding what you're saying, that's big, okay? It might seem small, but finding the words to communicate what's going on with you is actually a big thing. Okay, and that's a milestone towards your goal, right? So I want you guys, you know, the goals that you set at the beginning of the year are super important because it focuses you, right? You want to stay focused. You want to kind of have a direction. But don't get blinded by that goal where you're not realizing your own growth on your process towards that goal, okay? Celebrate you know, the small victories as well, be aware of them, you know, because at the end, maybe, maybe, you know, some of you seniors might be like, I want to get into this school. That is my goal. That is my purpose. I'm getting into this school. And then you don't get into that school, but you get into a really good other school. If you're blinded by your one goal, you might not be able to be aware of the other things that are happening, okay? Your life is long, and your path is going to be surprising, right? It's going to be surprising. What you might think you're going to be a doctor, you might end up a reporter. You know, you don't know, right? So just being part of your process and part of your path is really important because you're going to look back and you're going to wish you had been plugged into your path that more, okay? Appreciative of your path more because it's unique. Okay, and it's yours, okay? So set your goals for this year, set your resolutions, okay? But then also just be a part of your path. 
Be aware of your path. Celebrate your path, okay? If you want to be an A student, make sure to celebrate the Bs too because that's pushing you on your goal, okay? So I want you guys just to keep that in mind that we also are watching you and we're celebrating your milestones too. You know, your teachers meet in their staff meetings and they talk about your milestones, your positive milestones. You know, so-and-so is really plugged in. I've never seen him so plugged in. So-and-so is asking for help. Like, that's awesome. You know, so-and-so got this grade on this test and, you know, was surprised. You know, we're all plugged into your, your milestones too. So you should be celebrating them too, okay? So everyone in here has a process of before you and a path. And, you know, just be a part of that. Be plugged into that. Don't let that sort of be the thing you're not checked into. Okay, so I just wanted to mention that so you can think about it as you're going into this new year. Okay, based off of that, um, I have a couple announcements before I let you go. Um, of course, we have a new seating chart that was there a moment ago. It's not there anymore. It's posted in the front, okay? So this is your seating chart. This is where you belong, okay? If you forget, the seating chart's in the front. UB classes start today. UB classes start today. Make sure you are signed up on your portal and make sure you check their syllabus. So if you're in a UB class, make sure you have checked in on the syllabus, okay? And you have signed up for the portal. Even if your class does not, isn't today, look at those things, okay? Some college classes expect you to have read you know, certain chapters before they even begin. So check your syllabuses, okay? Make sure you understand. If you have a question, talk to Dr. Swartz or Ms. Perkins, okay? Ms. Perkins can also guide you. So please check that stuff. Um, make sure you get the textbook for class, okay? College course is a little different. They don't hand out textbooks at, in class. You have to go to the bookstore and get one. So if you're confused, talk to either Ms. Perkins or Dr. Swartz, but you need to get your textbooks, okay? And make sure you know where you are going. Don't wait till five minutes before your class to figure out you have no idea where you're going, okay? Check all of these things. Again, if you have a question, talk to Ms. Perkins, talk to Dr. Swartz. They'll be able to help prepare you for your classes, okay? Um, a note for our drama um, group, we are doing after school rehearsals this week, Tuesday, Thursday, 3.30 to 5.30, okay? For those of you that might not be aware, our drama group and our stagecraft group are preparing for the play that will be early in April, okay? So they're going to start preparing and doing after school rehearsals. So if you're in drama and are confused right now, please talk to Mr. Swartz, okay? <laughs> Again, if you are confused, talk to Mr. Swartz. Um, Mr. Kais is out today. He has a cold. He is out. Um, so the gym, instead of everyone going to PE today over at Wheeler, um, it will be more like a study hall. So the assembly room will be the study hall set up for local students and dorm students. You are able to go up. So just please make note of that when you are in the office that if you are going up, okay? Are there any other updates? Um, we will be doing our, our um, community service project next Friday. Oh, no, not next, this Friday, this Friday. Okay, there is a community service project this Friday. We are going to the local library to help them organize books. So we are in a local library to help them organize books. Ms. Gonzalez will be putting out the sign-up sheet, okay? So please sign up. Remember, dorm students, I am not signing you up. That is your responsibility. Seniors, we're getting close to graduation. You will not graduate if you have owed hours. So please check with Ms. Gonzalez about your hours. Do you have enough to graduate? If you do not have enough to graduate, come see me. I have some projects that I can give you that you can work on for hours, okay? That being said, are there any other announcements? Are we good? We're good? Nothing, nothing, nothing? Okay, then, oh yes, Ms. Al.
Yes. Next week, Monday, is Martin Luther King Day, so we're looking at a three-day weekend, okay? Um, so keep that in mind. So you have a half day this Friday with community service if you are um, sign up, and then you have Monday off, okay? There is a storm coming this week um, that, just, just to keep an eye on, it does not look like snow. Sorry. It's in the 50s. It's good, but it looks like a lot of rain. So anyway, keep that in mind. Also keep in mind, now that we've had a little bit of snow, um, if if there is a snow day, okay, that you can um, please check the local Bridgeport Public Schools. We mirror most of the time. We mirror what the public schools are doing, okay? So keep that in mind. Um, if the snowstorm is imminent and it's really bad, we they might call it the night before, but most likely it'll be posted early in the morning the day of, so just keep that in mind, okay? So we mirror it. Once we are aware of the decision, we usually send out a text, email, all of that, but just keep that in mind now that we've had snow. Um, I don't know if we're going to get more snow, but anyway, just keep that in mind that that's how we communicate that there is no school, okay? We do have a dorm student meeting tomorrow after school, dorm student meeting, okay? Other than that, I think we're good. Have a wonderful day, a wonderful week. Good luck, good luck, good luck. <laughs>